it. No gunshots, but they get in. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here with another video. Today I'm back on the multiplayer server. Uh, just doing some chiseling here. Trying to get this field finished. These two fields finished. Um, we got field 5 finished. And then I'm working on putting 6 and 7 together. I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, if you guys notice, I have a new we webcam up, uh, showing the wheel. I'm not sure if I like the positioning of it, but I will mess with that some more. Ooh. Um, yeah, just testing that out, and getting, trying to figure out a good way to put it. And so far, that was the best. But uh, yeah, so I'm sitting here, I'm combining six and seven together to make one large field. At the moment, it is just myself on here. Uh, everybody else is busy at the moment, so they're else not around. And so I am just on here working on this. Uh, we got the other John Deere and Chisel sitting up here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get these washed once I get the other ones finished, once I get finished with that field, uh, and then wash them up in preparation for field eight, which will take quite some time. Uh, we got the rented Versatile Sprayer, rented Kenworth, and rented Tender Trailer, Fertilizer Trailer here. Uh, they're just waiting until we are done tilling and then we'll go a growth stage and put down some herbicide A and then we'll cultivate uh, we're either, I'm either going to put the cultipacker in here and we'll rent that or we will rent a let's see what do I got in here for cultivators or we might rent uh, a new tractor and this Vatterstad or maybe the 2410 uh, no matter what we get, we'll have to rent a bigger tractor, uh, because really this, uh, blue one here is about the only thing we can afford, so, or that we can pull with our current tractor. So I've just got one more pass left down on this bottom section, and then I'll move up there, uh, to that section. Yeah, I hope you guys uh, have been enjoying the stack movers. I have the both on my website. Uh, Mod Hoster only put the large one out, and then they claim that the small one is a replicate of something else that's up there. So I'm gonna try and fix that issue. And then uh, American Eagles Modding has not put out the large one yet. Uh, just the small one is up there. Uh, And then both are on my mod site. So. See, so yeah, I uh, cut a section around the terraces there. And then now I've just been going straight across here. Uh, plowing in the grass spots as well. And I'm going 11 miles an hour. Which really isn't all that realistic, but I'm in a hurry just to get this done and move on. And, uh, yeah, just trying to get get further along and get some stuff done. Uh, I haven't actually played on the server here for a couple weeks. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, since the last video went up on the multiplayer server, it was about, like, a day or two before that, so... I don't know how long it's been, maybe maybe it's been about a month or so, but it's been a while, and so I'm finally back on here, going to try and make a point to get on here more, and stuff like that. Uh, I also sold our combine and header, because we were at like under a thousand dollars after renting that sprayer for, I think it was, I rented it for like five days or something like that. Uh, let me check. 
use it. No. Okay. There we go. Okay, uh, yeah, we rented them for four days. Is what I rented them for. And that really, the sprayer was really expensive. Um, so, really wish it hadn't been that expensive to rent that thing for that long, but it was. So there's really not much I can do about that anymore. Uh, I sold the combine, and then uh, did some other selling and that kind of stuff. I did some work on this in single player, uh, doing assignments, uh, earning money that way. And so now we have $500,000. So that should hopefully be enough to be able to rent some cultivators and then also get uh, harvest equipment and combine, we'll need to rent a couple combines and then wagons and then hopefully next season we'll be able to buy some. Uh, I'm thinking of buying a smaller a uh, little bit more inexpensive excuse me, uh, combine and then hopefully we can uh, continue forward with that but we'll have to see so Yeah, this is from the Concer Till Pack. Uh, I got it from LS Portal, but I've seen it on Mod Hoster, I think, and then like LS 2015 now. Uh, the only difference is I added dirt to these. Uh, they didn't have dirt before, so I made some spec maps up and then uh, added Dirt Trader in the the Dirt Trader XML in there and the dirt normal texture and got uh, the dirt added to it. Now it gets dirty as well, as along with the tractor and stuff. Got a lot of hours on these John Deere's. Uh, this one has 5.4 hours on it, and the other one I think has like either around that or maybe like 6 hours on it. Uh, we've put these tractors through a lot, that's for sure. Uh, and we've used them for a season one full season going on their second season already but these old 4440s the 4400 series in general is a good uh, set of tractors uh, my dad has a 4430 and I want to edit this tractor to be like his 4430 uh, have to do make some new steps uh, redo the interior on this to make it match uh, his and then obviously change the model number and then do some model adjustments to make it match 4430 so that guy on cruise so I got the new office chair uh, desk chair whatever uh, that I had been talking about I was going to get one uh, in the room tour whatnot video and I did get one I went to Office Depot and the ones they had were all 80 to $400 so definitely wasn't going to be able to afford one of those uh, so I went to Walmart and found this one for 40 bucks and it's basically almost exactly the same as one of the ones that was $80 that I saw at Office Depot so and I went with it, and it's been a whole lot better than the folding chair. So, happy for that. So yeah, um, at the moment, maybe I've mentioned this in another video, but uh, I can't remember, so I'm doing it again anyways. 
Uh, now with the stack movers finished, my only projects are my bush hog, the 20 foot bush hog bat wing mower. Uh, it's a flex wing that I'm going to make it. Uh, I have that. I still have to finish the modeling, uh, do the textures, and then script it, in game it, all that good stuff. Then there's. Uh, let's see what else. Drop deck tender, uh, which it's in game. Uh, I still have some things to fix on it. I have some errors and uh, stuff like that that I need to fix. And then get the triggers added to it. And then. I also am working on a uh, service truck. It's a 2007 Duramax uh, that I found in SketchUp. That I am. Uh, I have it in Blender, and I have a bunch of parts joined into different things. And then I'm going to do AO textures on it, make it a better model for in farm sim, uh, make it better than it would be if I just did a plain old straight over conversion like most people do. SketchUp is usually where people start out, which is okay, you know, you gotta start somewhere, but the quality of the models is really terrible unless you know what you're doing, and you know how to put them in Blender and redo it, which, you know, is what I'm doing, so, uh, the Bush Hog, the Tender, the Service Truck, and that's it, uh, my Craft Family Farms 15 map I had to delete, screwed some of the files up and I can't fix it so I deleted it and I started a map on Papa's farm that's gonna have real terrain and all that stuff but my giant's editor <coughs> my giant's editor is now not working correctly uh, it won't let me basically the only things I can do now on a map is move buildings and uh, change the terrain height. That is all I can do. It won't let me paint ground textures. I can't paint fields. Nothing like that. So I'm on... Basically, I'm done with maps for the time. Uh, hopefully, I can figure out a fix or something. So that way I can do that map. And uh, have a good map to play on of my own. You know, there's many good maps like this one that are out there and stuff, but I want a map of my own, and based, especially a map you know, based on a family member's farm. Uh, but I guess now I have more uh, time to work on mods rather than maps, so I guess that's okay. But then once I have the uh, mods that I'm currently working on finished, I have a super awesome project, uh, well, a few of them, that I want to do uh, after that. You know, I'm not going to spoil them yet, but I will say that when I do them, uh, I'm going to record basically the entire thing, so then you guys will see it go from start to finish. Uh, you know, a lot of it's going to be time-lapse with music, but it's still going to be pretty cool, so... Um, I'm going to do a shorter episode today, just because there isn't much going on. Uh, just give you guys a little bit of a server update. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you uh, have any comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to share the video uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out down below in the description for links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels to check out. And uh, then Thursday's video is probably going to be on the server again. And then hopefully we should be on Field 8. And hopefully a ways done with that. So thanks for watching. And let me know what you think of the wheel cam idea. Um, like I said, the positioning on it is not uh, final. I want to change that. I just got to figure out a better place to put it. So I'll see you guys 